debate uh, and he gave me some advice uh, to uh, be cautious with uh, what I say uh, so that uh, ethnic harmony can be maintained. Uh, I wish to point out to the Honorable Field Marshal that I'm very cautious about what I say. Uh, I'm, very, uh, uh, I'm very measured in what I say. Uh, I find it peculiar that uh, he, of all people, can caution me because uh, in his uh, previous incarnation as uh, the Army Commander, uh, he made it a point to point out uh, that uh, Sri Lanka is a Singhala tree and that all others are creepers and crawlers on that Singhala tree. Uh, hardly uh, words uh, that come from a person uh, who is not uh, communal or racist for that matter. Uh, maybe he has changed since he lost that post and has been in prison or something like that, but uh, uh, I find it very odd that he would have those uh, that advice to give me. Uh, Honorable Deputy Chairman of uh, Committees, uh, as you know, uh, the Northeast uh, is a part of this country that has uh, faced a war. And uh, it's been a part of the country that has been deliberately destroyed. For 32 years, we've had a war. And in the course of the 32 years, when Field Marshal Fonseca at that time uh, General Fonseca, when he was Jaffna Army Commander, places in the Northeast were under a complete economic embargo. Uh, a litre of petrol during that embargo cost one, uh, 1,500 rupees. So that was the sort of uh, conditions that the Northeast has to face. After 32 years of complete destruction, uh, to expect that part of the country to be equated with the rest is just completely unfair. People are lagging behind economically for over 32 years. To expect them to compete on an equal footing with the rest of uh, Sri Lanka is just not possible. And therefore, it is important. I made this uh, point. I couldn't complete it uh, uh, during the debate on um, uh, the government's uh, policy statement. Uh, it is fundamental that the Northeast be seen separately as apart from the rest of the country. There has to be special treatment given to, the, to that area. People's economy has to be built up without protecting what they have and enhancing that economy to expect them to compete on an equal footing will actually throw them into a cycle of debt to a point where they cannot recover and eventually they'll be forced to leave the country. But this uh, government, as well as the previous governments, uh, including the government that, uh, that uh, existed just before, um, uh, the, uh, when uh, His Excellency Maitripala Sirisena... Honorable Member, you have two minutes left. Um, ...didn't do that. Uh, one of the uh, communities that have been so badly affected by, uh, by this uh, uh, economic situation are the families of the disappeared because uh, those family members, as you uh, will know, uh, have lost their uh, breadwinners. Most of the people who have disappeared are breadwinners. And they're in a pathetic situation, so pathetic that for the last four years or more, they have literally been on the, on the roads protesting. And on the 30th, uh, they are, the International Day for the Disappeared uh, will be uh, adhered. Uh, it is our view that uh, their struggle must be completely supported. We will do that. Uh, and we hope that uh, the government uh, acts on these issues. But unfortunately, the fact is that they are not going to. And the only way that families of the disappeared uh, can seek justice is through an international investigation. Those are issues that we will continue to uh, be strong on uh, because th that is the mandate uh, uh, Mr. Deputy Chairman of Committees that, uh, that the people have given us. Uh, there is also one other uh, matter that I wish to uh, raise, uh, the question of political prisoners. Once again, those families who, whose Tamil political prisoners are uh, under incarceration, uh, they are breadwinners. And those families for years have not been given justice. When convicts can be pardoned uh, to have these uh, political prisoners who actually don't have any evidence against them uh, not be released, I think, is a Honorable crime. Honorable Member, your time is uh, running it up. Is a, it is Please a crime wind up. and it must be addressed. I thank you. I thank you.